Hey guys, today is today today. So I just figured out, figured it a while ago. I watched this video of how sub sub almost killed my YouTube channel, which is I actually kind of understand what he said in the video, cause like how it almost killed his channel. Cause like the thing is that how you probably saw me gaining a lot of some more subs than I usually would yesterday. I was doing or a few days ago or a week ago well, doing during the Saint Charles videos. I'll have to admit, I was doing sub, I was doing the sub for sub thing, but the thing is, I learned now, is that, like, don't do that, because, like, you know how it works, like, you, you go and, uh, you go on a, on a small YouTube channel, and then you say, hey, um, you know, you watch some of their videos, like one, some of one of them, and then, like, you, um, you, uh, watch, uh, you, uh, comment on one of their videos, hi, um, I like your channel, we could do a sub for sub, and then, and then, once they finally subscribe to you and you subscribe to them, then uh, then they they watch your videos. But then you have to go and watch their videos. And what if they're not? Wa and what if you don't watch their videos? You lose them. So yeah, that's not a good way to. That's not a good way. And second, and like, and also, it just doesn't really. You're not really feeling like you earn to. It's just like. Like, it'd be, it'd be much better if you, because you don't really get any more views, you don't really do that, because when my channel was getting some more views on that, on the, when I did the trip, those days, um, I got some views, I was like, hmm, maybe I can do the sub for sub thing, and then, um, I'll get, I'll get some more subscribers, and then I'll get some more views on, on that day, and then, oh boy, that didn't, that didn't, like, I have, like, 194 right now, I used to have 183, and yeah, those 11 subscribers are basically just ones I just did sub for sub for. And I'm probably going to lose them all because I'm not watching their YouTube channel or whatever. So I think I'm just going to go stop doing that. And don't because if you're a small... I saw, like, I, I also go on sub for sub streams too. Just don't because I saw a lot of people, people with no subscribers. And it was like... Like how how are you gonna watch all their videos in time? Like once you actually get a few real few real subscribers, those will actually go those fake subscribers that you did sub for sub for they will go away because you don't watch their videos at all. You don't thumbs up on any of them. You don't comment on any of them anymore. Well, you don't you don't share them at all or whatever. You did. It's just, like, you don't really get to keep the subscribers. You gotta, like, imagine if you get, like, 100 subscribers, but they're all, they're all just sub for sub ones. And then you, uh, you go make a video, and, and you, ha and then a week later, you don't watch any of their videos. All, and don't watch any of the 100 ones. And then, and then the, they start unsubbing you, and then you have, like, 50 subscribers. And then you have, like, 20, and then zero, and then, yeah. You just... You you just won't. If there's no guarantee, they'll stay back. There's no guarantee they'll stay. Cause with your subscribers, they actually interested in your videos, or they just go and start watching your videos without them trying to get to you. And yeah, I just like do not sub for sub. Really, just everybody, everybody that sub for sub subscribe me. Like, don't really sub for sub anymore. Cause that's you're gonna lose a lot of subscribers when. You don't watch their videos anymore, or whatever, or support them. Because really, sub for sub would be a lot better if they just like subscribe and they just was like, okay, man, I subscribe to you and you subscribe to me, and so we can just keep it that way. And it's like, but no, they want you to support you. They want, no, they want you to go and watch their videos. And what if you get some real subscribers and then you don't watch them and watch the sub for sub YouTube channels? And then, and then they just unsub from you. It's like, you're losing subscribers, boy. Why'd you do that? You need to get the real subscribers. Because I watched a video, like, a few days ago about this guy, Ethan, and he sub bots. He does get, like, 60 views at the most on a video, but he has, like, almost 7,000 subscribers. You're going to lose all this. It's like, no. Like, like some people noticed me sub, sub doing sub for sub earlier. The reason why I have 183 now, and and when I in about two years ago I used to have 200, is because those were sub for subs. I'm 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 immediate. I'm not gonna ever do it again, cause like I know that is not the way to go. And the people that are like trying to like say it's a like, cause, oh, they're trying to expose me. I just it's kind of mean, but like I know that I'm not really doing the right thing either. But like don't don't try to expose it. Like 
I should I should have learned for myself not to do it. And now I'm, I'm completely stopping. So really, do not sub for sub because it'll wreck your YouTube channel later on. Once you get real subscribers, you don't watch their videos because you forget about them. Unsubscribe. <coughs> and if you just if you have to, so this is the last thing I'm gonna say. If you get if half of your subscribers are like if you get ten sub for <coughs> hold on. Uh, something, something's getting wrong with me or something, I don't know, it's just, I'm just coughing, excuse me, but, but, like, really, like, if you have, um, 20 subscribers, 10 of them are sub for sub ones, cause, yeah, and then you actually stopped, and then you actually, well, no, when you actually get, like, 10 real subscribers, then, and then you don't watch the t sub for sub videos, their sub for sub videos anymore if you don't or if you don't watch their channel they're gonna realize that and they're gonna unsubscribe and you lose half of your subscribers so yeah don't really sub so because that Ethan could could actually lose all of his subscribers because I actually use the apps I stopped using those because I didn't do them but this is the third and final X and I'm not doing it anymore because it's just you get them and then you lose them it's just like huh well, this guy has lost some subscribers. Like, you can go on Social Blade and look up an account, and he's like, lost 25 subscribers in two days. I mean, that doesn't sound right. I'm not going to watch the videos because they're just losing subscribers. That means they're not getting good. It's like, yeah. So that's why you shouldn't do sub for sub, and that's why it almost killed my channel. Because I know it's going to go pay back on me, and I'm not doing the sub for sub anymore. Like... The guy gave me advice on the, like, I'm glad I'm, he made that videos, because then, now, because then I watched uh, How Sub for Sub Kill, Kill My Channel on another YouTuber that had, like, 6,000 subscribers, and yeah, just don't do it, because it could, it could kill my channel, and I'm glad I, and, I, and I'm glad, because I noticed that I lost 13 subscribers, just, and, and, and that was in the, in the future, that, that was in the future, not in the past, I didn't gain, I lost. So don't do that, or else you're just gonna lose all your subscribers. Well, lose lose most of them, or whatever. You're gonna lose subscribers. People aren't gonna find that interesting. Don't lose subscribers. No, no, no. They won't find that interesting, and then they don't watch your channel. Is what I think so, and it's probably true. But yeah, just don't sub for sub. But yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and peace. Bye, guys.